Hi, my name is Brian Urch. I'm the Principal Investigator for the Rapid Information Overlay Technology, otherwise known as RIOT, and today we're going to show a cyber tracking demonstration where we've integrated four social networking websites, Facebook, Twitter, Gowalla, and Foursquare, and we're going to track one of our own employees. So here you see the Riot object browser, and we're going to type the employee's name in, Nick Kniez, and that's going to return back a list of objects which meet that search criteria, and we're particularly interested in this second object. We see Facebook ID, Twitter username, Gowalla username, and we're going to expand the list of methods supported by this object. The second method, get locations, we're going to click on that, and that's going to return back in a KML file a list of all the places where Nick has checked in using his smartphone. So we're now going to click on that link, and that's going to open the KML file. And you can see that Nick has spent a lot of his time checking in up in the Mid-Atlantic and then also down in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and then a few places in between. So we're going to turn this off and jump back into Riot. And we're going to go and get photos. One of the things we've noticed is that when people take pictures and post them on the internet using their smartphones that the phone will actually embed the latitude and longitude into the EXIF header data of that image. So we're going to take advantage of that by bringing down all the pictures where Nick has checked in and then placing those on Google Earth. So let's click on that link. Again it'll bring down a KML file and we'll po post them up on Google Earth and we'll zoom in here to Washington Nationals Park and that'll bring back a picture of Nick and so now we know where Nick has gone and we know now what Nick looks like so now we know where Nick's going we know what he looks like now we want to try to predict where he may be in the future so we're gonna go ahead and call this uh, this get top places method it's a very basic analytic but it's gonna return back a pie chart that'll show us the top ten places that Nick checks in and you see here the gym is the top place followed closely by Dallas-Fort Worth. So we're going to analyze the place. So we're going to type in place equals Jim and then username Nick Kniez. And This is going to go out to Gowalla and Foursquare and bring back all the check-ins and do some analysis on them. So we're going to go ahead and click on uh, view graphs and this brings back check-ins by month. You can see here that he's checked in uh, the most in June at the gym. I guess he's getting ready for the uh, beach season, working on a six-pack. Uh, you can also see that uh, the check-ins by day, Monday is the highest day, followed closely by Wednesday. And then here's the most interesting. If you look in check-ins by hour, 6 a.m. appears to be, obviously, the, uh, the most frequently uh, visited time at the gym. So if you ever did want to try to uh, get a hold of Nick or maybe get a hold of his laptop, you might want to visit the gym at 6 a.m. on Monday. Now one last thing we want to show is the uh, graphical Riot object browser. We can type Nick in here and this will bring back Nick's object and we can click on that and that will go out and bring back all the associations for that object. And uh, so uh, this is also another way if you're trying to track somebody uh, in cyberspace you can see uh, Nick is shouting out in Twitter to different users um, you can also see some phone numbers that are linked in with this. So the, uh, the graphical object browser is a good way to kind of visualize uh, the relationships between all your objects. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. It's brian.urch at raytheon.com. Thanks.